people find out that I read hands, usually the first thing that they do is they show me their hands and they say, when am I going to die? And my usual answer is probably in the next hundred years. Because I don't know when you're going to die. Your hands are not going to show me anything like that. So what does the lifeline say? Well, this is what we're going to talk about today. And first, where is this lifeline? As you can see on the illustration, the lifeline is the one that is surrounding the ball of the thumb. The best type of lifeline to have is long and nice and round. And on the illustration, you're going to see three illustrations of a very nice and long and round lifeline. We are going to talk about actually a short lifeline. And you can see on the screen an example of a short lifeline. So what does it mean? No, it doesn't mean that you are going to die young. The lifeline is supposed to be your vital energy, the one that allows you to go on living. So when you have a short lifeline, it just means that maybe you don't know what you want to be doing with your life. But you already know that your hands can change. So today we are going to see a typical example of somebody who had a short lifeline that turned into a long lifeline. So here you have the example of this man who has a lifeline that starts roughly around 50, 55 years old. What was going on at that time? Well, this is the time he decided he wanted to retire. So most of his life he had this short lifeline because all he saw was, I want to take an early retirement. So the lifeline was short because this is the way he was thinking and he didn't really project himself after retirement. It was as if life would stop because he wouldn't have to go to work. So he didn't need to really see what he was going to be doing. As you can see now on the second print, the lifeline is much longer. So what happened? Well, after he retired, he realized that retirement was not the end of life. So he started to do all kinds of new things. He started to study music, to play an instrument. Uh, he joined a local band. He started to do things on, uh, on wood, uh, carve wood. He made a beautiful object. He started to uh, go hunting. He started to do all kinds of interesting things that he had never thought about during the first part of his life. And I'm very happy to tell you that he is now over 80 and is very much alive and his lifeline is continuing very, very strong. So here on the illustration, you can see the before and the after line. And you can see how the after one is much longer than the before one. Now, what would have happened if when he told, when he came to see me the first time, I had told him, oh, you see, after the age of 55, you're not going to keep living. This was not the truth. This is what the line was showing, but it only showed that he didn't really project himself after retirement. Once he was able to really continue, and I can tell you now he's 80, but he's not stopping. He's still playing music. He's still doing so many things, traveling all over the world. And I believe he probably can live until 120 if he really wants to. So before and after picture, it shows you how you can extend your lifeline. Isn't this an amazing change?